starting doing it based on ladder order, starting with Gold Coast. Gold Coast had a bit of a weird season, very up and down. People were very high on them coming into the year, and I think maybe too high, like people were saying top four and stuff, which I thought was pretty ambitious um, given how far behind they were last year, but they made some astute signings in the offseason. And I think all of them played pretty well. I think um, all in all, it's just a solid team. I think their spine can definitely improve. And I think with the likes of Campbell at one and Brimson at six next year, and whether it be Fogarty or Sexton at nine, I definitely, and they're also bringing in Booth um, from Melbourne. I don't know if he's going to start at hooker. I definitely think that's where the progression will come for this Titans team and definitely increases their ceiling. Uh, But this year, I think they played pretty decently. As I mentioned, up and down, but they gave a few big teams some frights, such as the Rabbitohs and the Storm a couple times. And obviously, um, finals week one as well. So I think it was a decent season. I think Holbrook looks like he's a pretty good coach. And they've got one of the best young forward packs going around. They've got great outside backs. They just need to address the spine, which I think will improve next year. Um, A rating out of 10, I'm giving them a 6. I actually predicted them to come 7th. So my ratings are based on expectation. So you could argue it should be below 5 because 5 is par. But uh, for me, the fact that they almost won a finals game and, yeah, I just think they... I, I, I don't know. I think there was a lot more positive signs than maybe I was expecting. Like, I definitely think there's a bright future in Gold Coast. I think Holbrook took some steps this year. They unearthed a gem and Jade and Campbell, which I had no idea about in the preseason. So there were definitely some things that the Titans have signed. Isaac Liu, there's, there were some things at the Titans this year that um, shocked me in a good way. So, yeah, I'm going to give them a rating 6 out of 10. MVP, I'm giving it to Tino Fasul Malaui. If you watch my NRL top 20 players of 2021 last week or the week before, I actually had Tino in my top 20. I'm a huge fan of this bloke. Uh, so he's also my best young player. Um, argue, like debatable, whether to give it to Fafida or someone else. But yeah, I just think what this guy does week in, week out, it's almost unrivaled in the competition. Like there might be some who are more impactful in attack, but what he brings for the duration of the game and also in defense, I think it's, Pretty unmatched. Most improved player, I'll give it to Patrick Herbert. I know it's probably a bit weird giving an award to a guy that some say cost their season, but all in all, he came from the Warriors. I saw some signs last year at the Warriors. I liked him. I thought he was just a really solid player. He gave 110%, but I think at a better team at the Titans, I think he really flourished. And the big bodies they have in centers um, of BK and Patrick Herbert, I think really works well for them. Uh, and they're really good strike weapons for the Gold Coast. It's a miracle! Oh, yeah! What about that one? Marcelo! Unbelievable! Balotelli! Aguero! Crowd cheers. Here's Siddle. 